I keep this in the stash, you know what I mean? Like, remember what, what, J, what uh, Beyonce said? She keep the hot sauce in her. In her yeah. I'm, on your, I'm, I'm rocking with you, Beyonce. I'm on that same type of tone. <laughs> in my back pocket. Pull it out. What up, GQ? This is Young and May, and these are my essentials. All right, one of the first items, definitely a white tee, man. I can't function without no fresh white tee. All that designer stuff is cool. It's all right to have, you know, to just be fiery now and then. But I'm the type of person, man, I wake up, I could throw on a white tee for the day and be cool. I can't wear no dingy white tee. You know what I mean? Some white tees, when you wash them, they still got the underarm stains under it. Maybe an old Kool-Aid stain somewhere, or a Hennessy stain. Always a fresh pack. You know what I mean? I always got to get a fresh pack of white tees. Yo, if I can count <laughs> how many times I bought a pack of white tees or had white tees, I, and I could got a dollar for each one, I'd definitely be a millionaire. It's just part of me, man. Fresh tea, man. It's like wearing new drawers. One of my favorite chips right here, man. I be tight when I go in the store sometimes and they ain't got them. They got every other brand, every other Uts, every other flavor. And I think everybody like these or something because nine times out of 10, I barely find them. So when I do get them, I gotta get like at least three bags. These chips taste like a, like chicken, shrimp, everything in one, like just nice and seasoned. Like when you hungry and you eat these, tri these chips, you are like satisfied. And a lot of people don't know neither. The technique to these is when you get them, you don't just get them and open them up. Like you gotta turn it upside down because all the seasoning and the spicy stuff is in the bottom. And you gotta like shake it up in there. Down there. Put it all in there. And then you open it. Let me see if we got a good. Yeah, we got a couple good ones in here. You know what I mean? They gotta be looking like this. And they gotta be seasoned. See, it's, it's like one or two in here that's probably not too seasoned, like this one. This one is a little chill compared to this one. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is my favorite right here. I can't eat it right now because I got my grills in. You can't do too much though, cause it got 300 milligrams of sodium, man. So I try not to do it too much, but whenever I get the taste for these, it's like my go-to on the road grab bag of chips. Speaking of grills, these are definitely one item I can't I can't go outside without. Like I don't my watch is cool, you know what I mean? Nice. Or the mall butts down, pretty watch. I can leave this at home. My chain, beautiful. This is my logo, my medallion, my trophy. Love it, beautiful. But I can leave this at home. These right here, I can't leave these at home, man. Like no matter what, like if I leave the house and I don't have my grills, like I'll literally spin the block and go back to get my grills before anything. Um, that's like the worst thing for me is to not have my grills in my mouth when I go out publicly. I just feel like it's part of me, it's my signature. I had grills since like 2013. That was like six years ago. I got my first pair of grills. And uh, I had bottoms actually at first. Oh, it was four gold bottoms. That's all I had. That's how I started. And then eventually as time came on, I wanted more, so I got six. And then six turned into tops. Tops turned into diamonds. And then diamonds turned into eight now. Eight tops, eight bottoms, fully bust down. And that's where I'm at today. With my favorite, my favorite jewelry item. I can't live without it. I got four pair right now. I got two uh, two pairs of gold ones that I had for a minute now uh, that got like actually diamonds in them as well. And then I got two flooded ones, two pair of flooded ones, both eight bottoms, eight tops. How many pairs I lost? Man, I done lost a good, mm, about 10 pair of grills. So like you do the math, man, it's a lot of money involved. Definitely learned my lesson. My issue was putting the grills, when I first got them, was putting the grills into a napkin when I take them out. Put it up, put it in my pocket. Forget about it. What's this in my pocket? Garbage? Throw it out. Never see them again. So I definitely learned that lesson. I never put my grills in a tissue. That's one thing that anybody need to know. If you got grills, don't never put your grills in a tissue. You will always end up throwing it out. That good old Dior cologne, man. Can't go nowhere without smelling good, man. Uh, Petty Wop. For example, there's a lot of people knowing me in the video. I pulled the Dior out of my back pocket and I said, uh, Dior, my cologne, she said my sin is her obsession. But yeah, Savage, smells great. The ladies love it, real clean. 
real pure and it sticks. Uh, and I can't, I can't leave the house without it. Can't, can't, I gotta smell good at all times, man. I actually bring it with me most of the time. Like I will bring my cologne. I'm one of them type of people where I feel like, I, I feel like my, my smell good is fading. I have to spray at least three more sprays real quick. It's like a little traditional thing, like a dance now. When you put on your cologne, you gotta do a dance. It's called the, the cologne dance. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, just like my pimp cut, man. A lot of people know pimp cuts was a, a, a trend, a thing back in like the early 2000s. And to me, it's like it's like one of my most valuable things. I mean, I drink out of a regular cup, but like for some reason, it tastes different than this cup. And as you can see, I got my logo on it. I want to match my chain or whatever. And this is like a brand as well as like just a cup to have whatever you want. It ain't always got to be liquor. It could be anything I want in water juice but uh, at the same time it's like when I bring it places it's like my little my little trophy it's like I'm, I'm showing off the brand at the same time uh, and then I can have my little sip whenever I feel like it and I like that it's black black I feel like it's a dope color red kind of makes you look like a party animal I feel like black is a little more classy a little more cool you know what I mean I got this cup from uh, from Barney's and uh, I just slapped my logos on it and I was like, you know what? This is my go-to cup now. I can't, I need it. If you ain't got that hot sauce, you are not hot, you are not cold. Come around, boy, and get your top popped. All right, so like I said, like I'm, I'm addicted to spicy food. I love spice. If it ain't hot, it ain't right. And it gotta be spicy. Like, I don't like the, the mild hot sauce. I need it hot, and I eat it for fun. You know what I mean? I eat it for fun. <laughs> Pause. In a good way. <laughs> I put hot sauce on, of course, chicken, uh, seafood, you know, my, my shrimp, my fish, my oodles and noodles. I put it on everything, damn it. Uh, fruit, I don't pass sauce on fruit. <laughs> my collard greens. Anything that I feel like deserves hot sauce, gets hot sauce, you know what I mean? Like, and that's me. My headphones, man. I need my headphones because, like, first of all, I like to block a lot of things out. I like to be in my own zone, definitely when it comes to music. So uh, my headphones is like a go-to thing. I can't get on the plane without headphones. I can't walk through the airport without headphones. Uh, sometimes when I'm sitting in the car and I don't want to hear what's on the radio or what's in the, on the Syria, I put my headphones on. I need my headphones at all times. What are you listening to right now? Definitely Young and Made, man. She's one of my favorite artists. Uh, so I always got her playing, and then and I listen to a lot of old school stuff in the headphones. I feel like slow music, R&B music, for some reason it sets a tone when you listen to it in the headphones. It like makes you feel like you out of space real quick. Rap is cool. I like to play rap though out loud on some speakers and stuff like that. I listen to beats. A lot of times I can zone out more when I listen to beats on my headphones, uh, more so than hearing it loud. Kind of lets me hear every part of the instrument in the in the beat. Sometimes I write with no beat acapella. I just probably have something on my mind and I'll write. But uh, majority of the time I do listen to a beat first just to get a, a sense of where I want to go with the lyrics. And uh, yeah, I write to the beat. My hat, my brim a little messed up. But um, yes, my New York Yankee, everybody know Young and Made for wearing that. This is like my go-to hat. I have so many hats. I probably got like, probably a thousand, -ish. a little over a thousand hats. Everybody, if you notice, you see me, I mostly got in the New York for it. It's like my signature hat. I feel like it's a Brooklyn thing too. You know, Brooklyn was always known for that. That low brim, you know what I mean? Jay-Z, you know what I mean? He set the tone with that. And it's like my go-to hat, man. I wear this, I grab this, I can wear this with anything. Definitely the blue one. See, today I got on the red one. But I usually rock the navy blue. That's the traditional one. Go Yankees. All right, so I'm the type of person, I don't really uh, carry cash. Ooh. I'm a uh, card person, you know what I mean? And I got healthy cards, chunky cards, you know what I mean? These ain't just your average cards. And I'm not really, I don't really like to carry a lot of cash. I'm not one of those rappers that walk around with a bunch of racks on me. Every now and then, if I know I'm about to go out and shop, I'll probably have a good significant amount of cash. But most of the time, like I just carry my cards with me, probably like a good $200 the most in my pocket. But I'm just one of them, I'm just not that type of person. I just feel like I'm, that's a walking target to have a bunch of money in your pocket. 
Uh, that's just never been my style. My card, another situation, you know what I mean? Like anything happen, call it up, fix it, send me another one. Easy going, you know, once you lose money, you lose money. It's no getting that back. Uh, so yeah, definitely can't go nowhere without my card, man. Swipe, swipe. Yo, what up GQ, this is Young and May, and thank you for checking out My Essentials.